Hello lovely people, James Morrison, James Social Cycling. Welcome to part two of the three part series of the bicycle chain. So part two is all about cleaning the chain. So cleaning the chain on the bike and utilizing the quick link that I installed to take the chain off the bike. So, and clean it that way. So um, enjoy the video. I will see you in part three. Enjoy. Don't forget to um, like, subscribe, and and don't forget i will see you on the road very soon um i will show you um a way of cleaning the chain now while the while it's on the bike the reason the reason why it is better to do with a quick link um, and take the chain off because basically when you're spraying a degreaser or not so much a degreaser but a um, chain cleaner you're going to get that chain cleaner which is supposed to get rid of grease and grime around sensitive areas of your bike i.e where the wheel bearings are and that will obviously long term cause a few issues so taking the chain off is obviously the better way of doing that all right so i will show you that now so i've shown this on my videos before i um I use ProGreen MX uh, uh, drive chain cleaner because it is a salt free cleaner. Biodegradable, powerful degreasing agents, aluminium safe. All right, so a lot of the products out there aren't as good as that. So on this part, as I said to you, when, you're, when you've got the chain on there, as you can see, the chain's not too dirty, but I haven't used the bike for a while, so it would be good to give the chain a clean and I will show you. But when you're squirting here, you see the range of motion of that. I've just put a pedal on the, just put a pedal on so I can twist this round. And all you wanna do is just give it a light squirt around the chain on the outside and then try and do the other. It's okay if it gets it on the rim, it's not too much of an issue, but try and keep it away from your bottom bracket as best you can. All right, the other problem is, is here is you're gonna get it in the rear mech as well. So, and then what you do is just give that a little time to rest. So once you've done that, you've given the chain uh, a little bit of time to, um, for the degreaser to do its job. So obviously get into the, gre the grease and grime, hopefully loosen that up. What you then will need are a couple of brushes. So a nice, thick, heavy type of brush and then a bit of a thinner brush as well, all right? And at the same time, you're gonna need a rag. You're gonna need this. Apply some water to the brushes and then just the coating of the degreaser. And then you are going to Turn the and give it a good clean. Now you're going to need to go. This at the same time is also going to clean your cassette. All right, and you want to also obviously here you're doing the top. You want to then go down the bottom and give it a bit of a brush here as well. And another good way of doing the other side of the chain is by just going on the inside of the crank itself. What you're gonna do with this is you're gonna keep doing this for a while and a brush, and then you're gonna finer, just do it finely over the top of the, because you're trying to get into the nook and cranny of every rivet, every link and also doing the same on the bottom. 
Now, as I said, this is not the best way to do it. I've done it this way for years, but I find that my wheels uh, and my bottom bracket after time will get wet. There'll be the grease again into there, cleaning out all the grease that you've got in there, helping this turn. And you'll end up having to spend a bit of money here and on the hub as well. Need to rinse. And again, this doesn't look great, but this is the only way to rinse it off. So once you know that you've rinsed all of the water, all of the degreaser off, you can then dry the chain. So then you need to make sure the chain is all dry. Take a nice clean area of the rag and this is where you test to see as you can see, that chain is not clean. Not clean at all. So what you'd have to do is you would have to then re re reapply, reapply the degreaser, do the brushing and clean again. And you wanna do that until that is completely dry, completely clean. That is the way that you would clean your chain as it stands on here. Hi guys, losing some light now. It's around about half seven, eight o'clock I think. Um, I'm now going to show you how to clean the bike, uh, clean the chain uh, by taking the chain off. So that's utilizing the quick link that I fitted earlier, or the missing link that I fitted earlier, and cleaning the chain off the bike, which is a lot quicker and a lot easier, obviously once you've got the quick link on. So I'll uh, carry on with that now. So initially you just want to get yourself a nice little bowl, something like Cornish clotted cream, vanilla, dairy ice cream nice and you want to get yourself some white spirits now um, 500 ml bottle of uh, white spirit this was purchased from Poundland uh, any guesses on how much it cost okay well done well done if you for those of you that got one pound fifty <laughs> pour just a tiny tiny dribble into you don't want to pour too much in the difficult thing is with this it's not very eco-friendly all right so you don't want to use tons of this you just want to use a tiny slither in the bottom of the plastic bowl then you want to grab your tool and here I would suggest Taking the quick link down under, actually go around again. So then, there you go. So you just do what I showed you before, unclip. Be very careful here because you don't want to lose the quick link because if you do the chain will just fly off okay like so take the quick link put that somewhere put that somewhere very safe you don't need to clean it usually i would put that into the bowl as well but because they're brand new you do not need to and then you want to literally pull the chain out, like so. Then I would fold the chain up into as small as you can, so it's going to sit into this bowl, like so.
at the rack. And give it a wipe. So now what you're trying to do is you're trying to dry it off as best you can. And as you can see, there's still a bit of dirt on there. So this could be just where you're needing to dry it off. So then what I would do there, as you can see I've done this plenty of times before, find somewhere where you can hang the chain. Just to give that a bit of time to dry off. So you got that to hand. Right, FIFA will do this differently. Let's not put that in my mouth. Let's put that in my pocket. So people will do this differently. So there's no right or wrong way. As long as the chain goes in the right way, then you'll have no problems, all right? What you want to do is just make sure that that, as it's only got the one chain on there, you then need to take the chain behind the frame resting it like so and then taking this You have to try and remember which way you actually did this because what you've got now is, is you're bringing the chain back through. Back through like so. And then you're gonna go through there like that. So there are a guard, there's a guard here, which you need to go through. But just remember when you're coming here, there is another guard there. So you need to go around and then inside that guard, through and inside this guard. And then you are ready. Ready to connect it. Right, you need to find that connector that you piece of wire so here's a piece of wire so as I said just go a couple up my one it's got the easy one and the hard one so go like so pull that together actually I'm gonna do another couple more on there There you go, like so. No, it's not. There you go. You obviously need enough so then they meet. I'm not used to, this is the new link, so I'm not used to using such a long one, usually a small one. Then, then you need to reapply the quick link again. Remembering the arrows. So the chain is going that way. So you need to turn in like so. Second. 
Oh, that's all right. Okay. So then you're happy you've got that. Get the tool. And there people, you have a nice clean chain.